So, as usual, we have rattled some cages here. Oh, yeah. And I talked about the NFL Canada, which I'm not going to steal the idea. It was yours way back when this all started. It, it was. You remember that, right? I do. Um, I'm just giving you credit, by well, the way. thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Dylan Spicer writes that, and he says, if NFL Canada, if it became, sorry, this is my bad, not you, Dylan. He says, if it became NFL Canada and the rules changed to NFL rules, I would watch CIS football only. Jean-Claude Daphne writes in, he says, CFL should stay the CFL. I get that our show is a CFL show. Listen, I'm not sitting here peeing on the parade or, or denigrating the CFL. I just wish that people would read up on the news and educate themselves on where the situation is at. What did Glenn Suter say on CJME last week? I quoted him in my column. I hope the fans, the media, the Players Association realizes how serious this issue is for the CFL. If you piece everything together, and Arash is a credible source, if they're saying hub city or bust, quarantine city, which, by the way, no league's been able to pull off yet. No, nope, not yet. Not one yet. But the CFL is going to be the first with the limited resources that they have and bringing players into Canada and having to quarantine them ahead of time. It, it's not happening. So it's not going to happen. So then you got this, you got the riders saying we're going to lose ten million dollars if we don't play a season. Now, if they don't get federal funding, which a lot of you don't want to happen, and the NFL has committed two hundred and fifty million dollars to fight racial injustice, they're not even thinking about the CFL right now. You understand it's going to have to come down to the Dillons of the world and the Jean Claudes to reach into their pocket, and a hundred dollars isn't going to cut it. It's got to be five to ten thousand dollars of your own money. You might actually want to do that. There's not enough people in Canada that do. I, I will guarantee you right now, they don't. So unless the unless the magical football fairy comes and drum, drops one hundred and fifty million dollars on the CFL, it's over. So it's got to be the NFL coming in. And the CFL begging for it to happen. And if you're the NFL, hey, do you want to buy a football league, a pro football league that's been around for 100 plus years? Yes, we do. Where do we sign? But it will be NFL Canada. We're putting our name on it. Remember NFL Europe? It was a thing. It's now NFL Canada. Or the option is this. As the Dylan said, he'll watch university sports in Canada only. Because if you don't want NFL Canada, the CFL will become a U Sports All-Star League, the best of the best. There's hardly enough of the best U Sports athletes to play in the CFL now. So if you're going to shut the door on NFL Canada, you understand you're going to be cobbling together for the rest of your life, nickels and dimes, robbing from Peter to pay Paul. You're not going to be able to pay anybody. It's going to be $500 a week, and the product's just not going to be that good. And you're not going to get the Americans coming up to play. You just aren't. <laughs> it will then become the joke that some people think the CFL is now, which it's not. It's tremendous football. But if it just becomes a youth sport alumni league, that's, that, 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 that's what we're looking at. If you want to fight over it with ego and you want the CFL to stay alive as it is now, that's the way it's going to go. I don't want that. NFL Canada is interesting. It adds immense brand power of course instant credibility of course and staying power our minds go to the nfl coming to canada and so we got to play four down games we got to sh you know shrink the fields we got to play with fair catches that doesn't have to be the case still play canadian you can rules. still play canadian rules you can still play canadian ball but let's remember basically the entire province of bc plays four down football already they're already playing American football or American rules football. So it could happen for sure. We'll so, continue this next hour. I apologize no. to catch up, but we got to go. Kyle Botcher writes in and says the CFL isn't getting any government money. He might very well be right. So if that's the case, the CFL will die. Read my lips. So y'all can sit and piss and moan and bitch about you don't want NFL Canada? You come up with a better idea then. Please, for the next hour. I'm waiting. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand.
For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.